12 hours after concluding its Upper West Regional Tour, Greater Accra is playing host to its 10 of the Building Ghana Together Tour. A swing region, the NDC says it is determined to keep fit with a region with increased parliamentary seats. We, we remain committed to ensuring the John and Jane ticket is delivered to the Flagstaff House. We will, we will return the highest votes ever in the history of Greater Accra. Moments after the flag bearer of the opposition, National Democratic Congress concluded a stakeholder engagement of party stalwarts in Dodoa. His entourage drove through the Dodoa market where he assured the women of his next administration's plans of building a modern market for them. John Muhammad's next stop was the Greater Accra Regional House of Chiefs. The chiefs want a protection of their identity and the creation of jobs for their subjects. A hopeful John Muhammad says he will not disappoint the Greater Accra. The issue of Grand Lands is a very disturbing issue. It's a vexed issue and it raises a lot of emotions. And so for the last time, when NDC comes into office, we're going to set up a commission of inquiry on Garlands to make recommendations on what government should do in respect of Gadangbe lands. And at the same time, it will also investigate looted state lands because the chiefs and people of Gadangbe gave land to governments for specific projects. If government is using those, uh, the, the land for those projects, there's no problem. So parliament is working is Gadangbe land. The Supreme Court is working is Gadangbe land. The airport is there. We all are using it. We are flying in and out. But where government is not going to use the land anymore for the purpose that it acquired the land, the rule is simple. It says give it back to the owners. And so we have to get a commission of inquiry in and investigate those who have taken those, those lands. Because you go and see lands that government is no, no longer using. Private people have bought them and are building all kinds of edifices on them at the expense of the tra traditional people. The president went to Independence Day and wrongly attributed Tetekwashi to the Equapin people. Even though his farm was there, Tetekwashi is a Gadangwe. And he went and got the cocoa from Fernando Po, and he went and planted it there. But it's because Gadangbe culture is eroding. So our children don't even know that Tetekwashi was a Gadangbe. And so we have to make sure that we uh, celebrate the achievements of the Gadangbe people so that our children will know uh, what the culture is. He gave the firm assurance of decongesting the ministerial enclave. We are looking to decongest Accra. And so when we come into office, we're going to undertake a feasibility study to move some of the government agencies and the ministries outside the city so that we can free up more space and reduce the traffic congestion in the system. A entourage then proceeded to the Busiokai spare parts house. Aden Nagan and Kwa Utimitia container bar on shipping line bear 24,000 cities and to assume it is just here near Motrasi, near Tete Satuan also, Senebea, Moso, Mohon, Ebetomo. Komla Kluche, TV3 News, Abusoka, Accra.